Hi, I'm John from Unix Surplus, and today we're going to look at our EPC NetBot remote temperature sensing devices. These guys right here are a modular device where you can stack on different modules like this to just add chain whatever you need, including camera modules, you have humidity sensors here for suggesting data center humidity, or you have temperature sensors that plug into here with standard keyboard style connectors, just like this. You can hook up your temperature sensors, and you can sense temperature anywhere remotely in the data center by wherever you wire this end to the wall. So it's a complete package of web managed and SNMP logging uh, data center monitoring systems. Each of our Nets bots has a special Panavice mount. This is a really nice, fully adjustable mount. It can lock and unlock and adjust it for any particular angle. It also has just four easy to mount screws. So if you wanted to mount it on a server rack like this, you could, and then go ahead and adjust down your camera angle so you can see who's coming in the door. You want it to look around the corner, no problem. You can look around the corner right here, around the to fo focus where who's coming in and out of your door. That's the camera angle. But there's other things that you really want to get a net box for. One of the major things that you want to do is monitor temperature. So you have these nice long external temperature monitors. Each of your servers, you know you're going to know what the temperature is, but do you know what the cold temperature is of your intake for your air conditioning? So you might want to run all the way one up to your intake to know that you're getting 70 degree air in. Obviously, if you're getting 90 degree air in and your intake, your print server room is going to be hosed pretty quick. So that's another thing you can do. It's all modular where you can stack on these different modules as well. One of the other modules you can run to is a humidity sensor. So if there's flooding in your data center, one of the NEB standards for telco uh, compliance is that you're supposed to have humidity standards, monitors. It also tells you about reliability, and you can do monitoring for reliability of disk drives, et cetera, based on relative humidity of your data center or your data room. So this is a perfect uh, unit here for anybody running their own computer room or who wants to check in with their data center. It's a great option to make sure that you have security and peace of mind about what physical security is happening. Other options you have too is with server doors, you have door locks and magnetic sensors. So you can manage it, put right here and get an alarm whenever your server door is open and you're not available. Great physical security, very important if you're doing with customer data, credit card data, or you have to be compliant in any way. Let's take a look at what drives in that box. You can see here that you have your two Ethernet ports driven by your NEC. Uh, Ethernet chip, you have here your TI, PCMCI bridge if you want to do anything. You have a 128 meg CF card that you can access and read update firmware through. This is actually a serial port and USB bus that's coming off to this bridge connector so you can stack different modules on if you want. Here is your system on a chip right here and it's an MPC 8245. Um, you have serial ports on it right here. Use the serial port for your default reset. DC in, um, you have Ethernet out, and you have four USB ports right there for the NetBots. This is a NetBots 500 right here, tour of the inside of the unit. So let's take a look at how to reinitialize the NetBots. First of all, you have to run their NetBots configuration utility. That goes through the serial port through the standard null modem serial cable. We have them available if you need them, uh, just any type of reset one. So we come on over here to our NetBots utility right now. So we run the serial port configuration here and we see now that it sees the NetBots appliance. So we'll click Next, and we'll actually go through and force the configuration to that appliance. What it's doing is it's going to re reboot the appliance right down, the NetBots 300 that we're rebooting, and then it's going to download all the current configuration. We've got an IP address already set right there. You're going to keep our IP. You can also go via DHCP if you want to do it with that. And then keep going Next. We've seen our feed, and it saves the con configuration. At this point, we've set a fixed IP address. So now what we can do is we can go over to our NetBots utility and we can take a look at our NetBots 500 right here and we can view the camera view. And right now I'm standing in front of the camera with my t-shirt right here. You can see what the camera looks like if you were to focus it on a server rack over here a little bit farther away. You have a fo uh, fixed focus camera so you can focus on what you want. You have intensity and other focus on features there. You can see what it looks like a little bit farther away by focusing it on some boxes over here that we have as well. There's a lot of different adjustments you have here with your video screen right here. You have things like your door switch right here, which is closed or open. 
we can take away our magnet right now. This is the open thing. Uh, humidity sensor is coming up. What uh, we have a speaker, so we can force and speak to somebody there, saying, "Hey, get out of my server room." There's different resolutions and different things on your camera view. So now we'll also take a look at the alerts view up top there, and the map view, and the other things too. So you can do different alerts and different graphs of what the pots are and temperature over time, which is really nice to see who's been in there. Uh, let's take a look here at the humidity over time. So this shows what our relative humidity ha has been over time. Very useful, it's almost your own personal weather station for using these net pots. They can do anything. We have a customer that runs a winery and he's very interested in his temperature and humidity continually for when he's uh, fermenting his wine. So he wants to know where his maximums are, where his minimums are, so he can actually do control on the remote monitor. And he can also get alerts when his humidity or his temperature changes. So a lot of functions, a lot of things can happen out here. Not only do you have your live monitoring on it, you can have multiple net bots coming from here. You have all the different types of settings you can have here. So let's take a look right here. We have right now our NetBots 300 up here, and you can see the web management page. But let's go over here to our another NetBots, which we currently have from set for 251, and we're going to log in. It's NetBots, and NetBots is the default login for any NetBots that we're going to do. Click OK. And we're going to look at our NetBots 500 appliance right now by entering in the correct password and username. So right now what we're seeing here is you can tell the NetBots 500, and I can step in front of the camera to show you what it is. It's also very similar to the other view. You have your camera sensor pod and your sensor pod as far as your te uh, temperature and humidity, all the other things right here. What you don't get from the web is the long-term graphing capability that you get from the application or the long-term logging down. So we have here our web interface right here. You can see I just stepped in front of the camera, so you see motion changing. This is the NetBox 300, which is the 1U rack bound version for inside your rack. You have temperature, airflow, humidity, audio alarm, door switch settings. Now let's go over to 251, which we've set the NetBox 500 to. And you can see here with the NetBox 500, as I stand in front of the camera, you can see the motion. You have your different modes. You can update your frame rate on your video too. And you can put the different resolution. You can see now that we have more of a motion vent video here with this current plane line. You're reducing the resolution and make it transfer quicker as well. You have here graphs and setups and everything you can see over the standard application. It's a little bit, it only shows one particular unit. The application is nice when you want to switch between many, many units as well. You have here your current temperature, humidity, dew point, uh, airflow sensors. Everything that you need to get as far as netbots here. So I hope you enjoyed our tour of our APC netbots. These are really useful things for anybody that needs to know any type of information. If you want your own home personal weather station, you can use a netbot. You want the simplest little compute security camera, no problem. You want to then take a picture of whoever walks in your door as your door sensor activates. A netbot will cover you for that. It's a great little ARM processor based, totally useful, totally hackable, totally convertible type of device. Not only do you have video, temperature, graphing, temperature over time, you have power monitoring too as well with the APC utilities that plug in. It can do a lot. So as I said, there's a lot of outside applications besides just your data center room. If you want to do any type of remote equipment monitoring, uh, brewers are using it and coming to me for this right now. Um, you want to do any type of monitoring of just your own office to see what your airflow on your air conditioner is. You can do that with a little netbox appliance. Great little handy units to have around. We're bringing to you at great prices where you can deploy them wherever you want, and they're a great deal here at Unix Surplus. If you need to order any, you can always call us at 877-UNIX123. Check us out at unixsurplus.com, or you can check us out on eBay as well. Thanks for taking a look at our video.